Nick and I are walking into church and it's just a beautiful, cozy church. As we're walking in, someone holds the door open for us and I go, thank you. And I go, absolutely. And we walk in, it's so beautiful in here. And we walk up the steps. We're so excited. We're a couple minutes early. We walk up the steps. When we get to the top of the steps, there's communion that we grab. And so I grab the communion. I grab the little pamphlet for the service and a pen. The pen is blue and it says family church. And so we walk into the church and there's a bunch of people in there. People are just chatting and talking. And we walk in and we go sit down right in the middle. We sit down and we see the band up there getting ready to play. And all of a sudden they start playing. And they play one of my favorite songs as we get to our seats and sit down. And it's, Holy Spirit, you are welcome here. Come flood this place into the atmosphere. And I'm just putting my hands up and I just feel the power of the Holy Spirit as I'm listening to this song. And I'm just imagining the Holy Spirit being in this space. And I'm just, this whole time they're singing, I don't let my mind wander. I just completely focus on the Lord Jesus. And I say, Lord God, you have my heart and my mind this whole time. And I'm just kind of saying prayers and just really worshiping God. And so there's this, this band up there. There's a drummer that's drumming. There's two people playing the guitar. And there's this big TV screen that says all the words with different colors in the background. And it's so amazing. And I just look around and I can smell coffee. And I just glance around and I go, wow, it's busy. I whisper to Nick. And Nick's just really in the moment. And so I don't want to interrupt him. But uh, people have their coffees. And then... All of a sudden, after the first couple of songs, they tell us to sit down. So I sit down in my comfy seat, and Pastor Aaron comes out, and man, you can just see Jesus through this man. Um, his eyes are so bright, and he goes, all right, well, I'm going to kneel down and say a prayer for y'all. You can um, go ahead and join us, or you can stay in your seats. And so he just says this powerful prayer, saying, that Father, thank you so much for everybody here. It's no, it's by no accident that these people are here with us today. And he goes on and on. This prayer just touches my heart, and oh, I just feel this peace from God. And after the prayer, um, they do an announcement. Some lady comes out to talk about an announcement of all the events coming up, and they show different pictures of people who have been baptized, and they announce the baptism at the in the ocean that we could go to. And then here comes Pastor Bernie, and this on the screen it says Pastor Bernie Cueto, and he comes out and he gives this powerful message. And I just got my Bible out, and I've got my note card with my pen, and I'm just taking notes diligently. I'm just soaking in everything he's saying. And he's talking about not to focus on our problems in life, but to to focus on God and just to have this trust. And he's just giving us Bible verses, and we're reading scripture, and I'm just reading the scripture in my Bible, and just really letting it soak in my heart. And as he finishes the sermon, I go, wow, I learned so much, and I'm just thanking God for this a powerful, amazing message that I'm just so in the spirit, my mind is so aligned in the spirit that I just want to go share this message with everyone, and I just, I just love this feeling. And then all of a sudden, you know, the pastor leaves and they get back up there for the music. <laughs> and they play one more song and I'm just listening and wow, I just feel this connection with God. I'm just listening to the lyrics and meditating on every word that they're singing as I'm singing myself too. And then... All of a sudden, they're like, oh, okay, time for communion. And so the pastor gets up one more time, and we do communion, and I just take the bread and eat it, and I drink the, the apple juice. It's red apple juice. and So powerful. I'm just um, repenting, and I'm asking for forgiveness for any sins, and I'm just, I just feel so, so at peace. And so at the end, um, they just send us off with a little warm message to have a good week. And we walk out the church and Nick and I just can't believe how blessed we are to have found this church only a mile from our house. And we walk out and I just see somebody I know and I'm just having a little small talk with her and 
it's just such a, a fun time and in this moment i just have so much peace i feel so calm but i feel a, a, a lot of joy as well